Now, existing and potential Saudi Arabian investors have expressed readiness to consider Nigeria as a hub for investment in Africa, with a supporting business plan to be set up soon. It was the immediate reaction to the apparent convincing presentation of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who engaged investors at a Saudi Nigeria roundtable meeting in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. State House correspondent Musbao Nawahab reports. President Bola Tinubu again leads his team to maximize the platform created by the Saudi Africa Summit. And here, on the set lines, the largest economy in the Middle East and that of Africa explore more possibilities for mutual greatness. The countries with much similarities, including their young populations, want to literally lean on each other to grow much higher. Two economies with great set of resources, with visionary leadership on both sides, who are set on this very transformative set of reforms that are quite compatible but complementary in nature that bode so much promise for not only our countries and our people but indeed for our regions as we set the role model and the example of how economic development, prosperity and putting the interests of the people first is going to result in the future. Beyond Hajj-centric and existing bilateral relations since just a year after Nigeria's independence, both parties are considering expansion of investments in energy, petrochemical, food security, technology, mining, healthcare, financial services, among other sectors. I always say about Nigeria is that Nigeria is the best kept secret in terms of investment. And uh, uh, definitely looking for partnership. Uh, you know, we are not only asking uh, the Saudis to come and invest. We are also looking forward to investing here. So it's a two-way uh, uh, street. And against some wrong perception about the country, either to captain of the team assures that a new Nigeria is here with a renewed vigor for business with the world and Saudi Arabia as a special partner. You will have no better friend and partner than Nigeria. We are blessed with a large population. This population is full of can-do attitude. Young, vibrant, and well-educated human capacity. Equally, Nigerian consumer is necessary for the economic growth of the continent. So the advantage is killed from this moment on. We are open for business. The business-minded Nigerian leader says with the enabling environments being created, Nigeria is equally becoming a free market economy. And I assure you, the sky is not only the limit, but a destination for prosperity of our people. It's not an ordinary dream. It's a strong determination that is focused on partnership for success and driven by an ambition, unyielding ambition and commitment to democratic values, free market economy, private sector driven prosperity, and we are at it. We are ready. It's hope renewed again for another set of potential investors. An MOU already in place, setting up a Saudi-Nigeria business council to drive the partnership. The council is expected to take off first quarter next year to put necessary action to the words spoken here. From Riyadh, Muspao, Nanwahab, NT News.